Those who are able, please remain standing for the reading of our gospel lesson this morning. We are reading from the gospel according to Luke chapter 6, verses 20 through 31. Then Jesus looked at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven. For that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to those who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. But I say to you that listen, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Please be seated. I invite you please to pray with me. Who can say for certain, maybe you're still here. I feel you all around me, your memories so clear. Deep in the stillness, I can hear you speak. You're still an inspiration. Can it be that you are my forever love? Watching me from up above. And I believe that angels breathe and that love will live on and never leave. Fly me up to where you are beyond the distant star. I wish upon tonight to see you smile, if only for a while to know you're there. A breath away is not far to where you are. Are you gently sleeping here inside my dream? And isn't faith believing all power can't be seen? As my heart holds you just one beat away, I cherish all you gave me every day. For you are my forever love watching me from up above and i believe that angels breathe and that love will live on and never leave fly me up to where you are beyond that distant star i wish upon tonight 
delight to see you smile if only for a while to know you're there a breath away is not far to where you are i know you're there a breath away is not far to Most holy God, our creator, the lover of our souls, and the one who renews and restores your children. On this All Saints Sunday, we come to you with thanksgiving in our hearts. Thanksgiving for all of those who have been a part of our lives, who have witnessed to us of Jesus, who have shown us the way of the saints by the way they lived and by the way they died. For God, today we honor all of those who are in our hearts this morning, those whose names we will read aloud, for whom we will ring bells and light candles, and all of those persons who in our hearts today we cherish and we hold dear. Thank you for the promise of your holy word that those we have loved who have loved you and served you are now in that home, in that place you have prepared. And they now surround us as that great cloud of witnesses praying for each of us, praying for us and watching over us. Thank you for the promise, God, that one day in a time to be, we will all again be united. Today we thank you for the truth that there is just a veil between us and all those we have loved who have gone home ahead of us. So help us this morning as we celebrate the lives of the saints to let the gratitude of our hearts flow into the way we live our lives so that we too will live in such a way that others will be drawn to the God who created them, to the Savior who has come to forgive and to give new life, and to the Holy Spirit that lives within us, transforms us, and helps us as we seek to transform the world, one disciple at a time, in the name of Jesus. We pray this now. In his holy and precious name, amen. What is the way of the saints? If you have ever loved anyone who loved you dearly, if you have ever known someone who loved you even when you were very unlovable, even when you were off the path, even when you were struggling, who loved you unconditionally, who cared enough to tell you about Jesus Christ, who taught you about God's love, not just by their words, as important as words are, but by the way they lived and by, by the way they loved not just you, but all God's people. Today we celebrate so many, and I know that in your heart, as is true in mine, I have so many persons who I remember on this day in a very special way. I give thanks for all of those who taught me in Sunday school. I give thanks for parents who made sure I was in church, for a grandmother who taught me of God's love, for all of the people who have touched my life and helped me to know that even though they are not here, they would always be with me, with us, always praying, always watching, always caring about us. Today, so much to celebrate. We think and we pray and we remember together. We are going to come to the table of our Lord in just a little while and we'll receive the body and the blood of Jesus, one of the means of grace when Jesus tells us he'll be with us. He'll renew and strengthen us for this journey of life, just as he has renewed and strengthened the lives of the saints before us. 
And sometimes we think of saints as those who are somehow perfect, unlike the rest of us. But we want to always remember there was only one who was ever perfect, and that is Jesus. Even the saints that I love today who seem to have no faults. You know, my parents, when I was a teenager, I didn't think they knew anything. Then when I was about 25, I realized they knew a whole lot more than I thought. And on this side of it, I think they did nothing wrong ever, ever, ever. But the truth is, they were as human as you and I. They were as real as we are. They stumbled sometimes. They were forgiven by the God who forgives us. And that's why then it only makes sense that you and I are also saints. Did you know that? Did you know that you are a saint? By your faith in Jesus Christ, by my faith in Jesus, I am a saint. It doesn't mean I'm perfect. It doesn't mean I do everything right, and heaven knows you know that already about me. But it means I am forgiven. It means my life is new in Christ. It means your life is renewed and new in Jesus. And every time we turn from the sin of our lives, every time we turn away asking God to forgive us and seeking to do that which is right in the sight of God, we draw closer to the image of God and the model of Jesus who has been given for us to learn how it is we are to live. In the Roman Catholic tradition, there are many saints. You'll know some of them, Peter and Paul, You'll know so many, in fact. Francis of Assisi, that's my husband's favorite since his first name is Francis. When we were in Italy, he stood by the statue and said, do we look alike? There are actually over 10,000 saints of the Roman Catholic Church. Now, in our lives, saints look like us. They are the people who in a daily way, try to love as God loves. Try to forgive as God forgives. Try to walk the way of the saints, recognizing that like our saints before us, like those we love and cherish and remember today, we will make mistakes, we will fall, and we will not always please God. I want to share with you, though, that one of the great gifts as a Christian that we have is the Word of God that tells us and teaches us what it is to walk in the way of the saints. It's not a mystery to us. If we read God's word and if we study and learn and apply it to our lives, we learn what it means to walk in the way of saints. It's not for us something we try to figure out on our own. We already know we're not perfect, so spending a lot of time in God's word is imperative for us. It's important for us to walk in the way of the saints because without the Holy Spirit working in our lives, we are not going to be the witnesses that we can be for Jesus Christ. Perhaps like me, you've experienced the presence of saints in your life. I can tell you that even as my mother and father took their last breath, I trusted, I trusted they were never going to be away from me. They live in my heart, they live in my life, and sometimes I feel them with me. And I pray that's true for all of us, that if you'll open your heart and your spirit, you can feel the presence of those great cloud of witnesses that Paul spoke about, because it's real. It is real, and I testify to that truth. Now, how did those who walked in the way of God, the way of the saints, know what to do. I think our gospel reading today from Luke gives a wonderful guide to us as Christians about how those before us lived and how we are to live. Let me share some of that with you again as we get ready to come to the table and meet Jesus again in this means of grace. Our Jesus taught in the Sermon on the Plain, which is what we refer to it as in the Gospel of Luke. In Matthew, we call it the Sermon on the Mount, and it's very similar to one another with a few differences. Hear what Jesus says to us. Love your enemies. Now, before you jump to the conclusion you don't have any enemies, let me tell you that if there is anyone you'd prefer not to see today, or if there is someone whose name, when you hear that 
that name, it kind of stirs something inside you that's not a good feeling. Or if there are groups of people you just prefer to have nothing to do with, those are your enemies. Those are the people with whom you're not at peace. Those are the people that, for whom we are, to love. And hear the next one. Do good to those who hate you. It's not enough in Jesus' teachings and in his model for us. It's not enough to love only those who love you. To love people who love you already, he says, everybody can do that. But if you have the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit in your life, you're able to love those who hate you. You're able to bless those, he says, who curse you. You'll even pray for those who abuse you. He says, if anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And if anyone takes away your coat, don't even withhold your shirt from them. Give to everyone who asks from you. And I can say that even in the church, and as people come and ask so many things of the church, and sometimes they come with the same story they had two months ago, asking for the same amount of money that they got two months ago for the same purpose. And you can become very jaded and very cynical. But I want us to remember what Jesus says. Give to everyone who begs from you. If anyone takes away your goods, don't ask for them again. And do unto others as you would have them do to you. Love your enemies. Do good. Lend. Expect nothing in return. Be merciful just as your heavenly Father is merciful. The way of the saints. Do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn. You will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and it will be given to you. I want you to think for a moment about the qualities of the saints you have known. The saints we remember today. Their lives of love and forgiveness and kindness and selflessness, patience, bearing all things, putting up with us, believing all things, hoping all things, enduring all things. You recognized 1 Corinthians 13, how it is that God loves and how we are to love. What saints are not, they are not envious or boastful. They are not arrogant. They are not rude. They don't insist on their own way. They are not rejoicing in wrongdoing, but always rejoicing in the truth and in what is right and beautiful. It is not a mystery. The Lord has provided his word to us, has provided Jesus to us. May we come longing to walk in the way of the saints today. For for someone here, you are a saint that they will remember and look to and give thanks for one day. I want you to turn and look at someone next to you today. Just turn and look at whoever's next to you. That's a saint. You're sitting next to a saint, one who loves Jesus Christ. May we walk in the way of the saints who have gone before the way of Jesus. May we pray. Thank you, Lord God, for this reminder that we do know what it is we are to be about as your children on this earth, as we serve in your name, as we love as you love. Help us to repent of those things where we see ourselves not in the beauty, but in those who are struggling with forgiveness or who are struggling with continuing to hold grudges against anyone or who hold close to us the things that are wrong with others while not forgiving them and allowing them to be renewed as you renew us when we repent. Help us, God, instead to walk the way of the saints and thank you for the message of your gospel to guide our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please look now in your bulletin and find there the great thanksgiving that is included.